Hi everyone, I'm Bruce Schwartz. Thanks for the interest. Thanks for stopping by, for subscribing. And a lot of newcomers are coming to the channel. I can't thank you all enough. And you guys will be very happy with um, my research, I'm sure, if you're just a little bit curious about what's up there on the surface of the moon. We each have our own techniques. We each have our own ways. Everyone, of course, to get what's on the surface, but without tampering the actual real view, of course. So we're looking at a wide focal length. We're looking at a low altitude live view. The angle of it, the footage is changed. We're lower, we're inside the footage, we're close up, clarified, sharpened. And we're looking at, right now, this is Mare Serenitatis. I love looking at it because there's so much, so much detail inside of Mare Serenitatis. Bessel Crater right there. And as we see all the different levels, so we're looking at a three-dimensional view of uh, Mare Serenitatis. Here again, look at the beauty, right? The closer we get, it takes some appreciation, and of course, it probably takes some getting used to, but hang on. We're looking at a moon here in this footage was 83 0.5% illuminated. So the surface, the bigger it gets, meaning the fuller the moon is during the, its phase, it is going to give us a little bit of a harder time to be able to see the surface. So we see some movement, some oscillation over top of the image that I'm showing you guys right now. It could be oscillation from atmospheric disturbance between the moon and earth so long me i'm not a genius i'm not a scientist but i'm using common sense but now here's the thing everyone tells me it's between earth and the moon there's a problem because when i focus in on andromeda or the constellation of orion or any other celestial object that i've ever been able to capture myself with my own devices i've never ever encountered an oscillating surface like I have with our moon, our supposed natural satellite. Here, we're going over Copernicus, of course, over top, we just saw Aristarchus. So yeah, Mare Serenitatis, by the way, this is right here, the Apollo 17 moon landing. So that would be, if they landed there, where um, it's supposedly this area and that is where they would have landed in 1972 i believe so yeah they were right on the outskirts of mare serenitatis and would have had an amazing view all the way down to uh, the apennine mountains um, probably but hang on they're pretty low of course on the surface so just inside mare serenitatis there is so many elevated levels maybe they couldn't even see past Bessel Crater. It would have been so easy to take a couple of photos uh, on the way down, seems to me. Listen, if they landed right there, they would have had an amazing, amazing view of the Apennine Mountains, possibly Archimedes Crater that you see right there. So Archimedes is there, the Apennine Mountains, all this beautiful view. Here's Eratosthenes Crater here as we're going down to Copernicus. Um, yeah, just an overall beautiful view of the surface. This is close up. It's in color. We can see well the surface. Your eye has to adapt. No, it's not going to be easy to see the surface. And again, never ruling out the fact that we can't, um, you know, get rid of a haze or smoke that's there. We're not going to cut through clouds if there are clouds whether it be industrial smoke or whatever, we're seeing, um, and don't forget, an illuminated 83.5% moon. So yeah, it's gonna be hard to see. This is why I like viewing the moon when it's not quite full, um, from half on the way up to the full phase, and we can get a very good view of the line of light and darkness. Wherever it is, it brings out many structures for us to be able to see them.
Mars. They're supposed to send people there very soon, in a couple of years, I think 2027, to permanently live there. 200,000 people at the inscription office. Imagine, so far, that want to go there to live and leave Earth permanently. Supposed to send four people years preceding that, after that, sorry, four people a year, four people a year. They're doing tests here on Earth with people uh, in certain parts of Earth that are like Mars to live in a dome there. Nine months they just got out. NASA's Curiosity rover just found organic matter on Mars yesterday. Lazy Grassi, thanks so much for the generous donations and the support.